Let's do a mock draft. Let's do some mock draft simulations here. We're going to do a couple. One without trades, one with trades, maybe a little bit more. We'll see. Everyone really looked at it. We're going to do Pro Football Network Simulator. Seven rounds. And we'll go fast. See where the Detroit Lions land with this mock draft and multiple mock drafts. Why? Because... The draft is spontaneous. You don't know exactly who's going to be there. That's how the draft works in, in, in real life, too. So that's how it is. Let's go ahead again. Seven fast will be the Detroit Lions. We're going to pick where the Lions pick in the first through seven rounds. Hopefully, a corner will fall to the Lions. I'm getting my fingers crossed for this one. We shall see. We're just going to reject the trade. And right now. We got Byron Murphy, a legit target for the Detroit Lions on the table. I would love it. Leonard Taylor, really good as well. Darius Robinson, the edge. Ah, that's a good selection if the Lions are going to get it. TJ Tampa, an option. Tavondre Sweat, a legit option. Ah, these guys, it, look, I, I, I think that's more of a, a trade-down scenario. Chris Braswell and an Ennis a Rackstraw corner there. I think that would be that option. But for me, I'm going to go with defensive tackle here. I'm going to go with Byron Murphy. I absolutely love this selection for the Detroit Lions, and I think he would do magnificent with this football team. We're back on the board here uh, in round two. Again, I would like to find the BPA, the best player available, and hopefully we can do that with the Detroit Lions whole team, right? BPA. There's a guy right there sitting at 59 who I like, and that's Cooper Beebe. I have been talking about him for some time. He's sitting there at 59. He's going to be a guard instantly for Jonah Jackson. Moves in there. We're taking BB. This is why. We're right back on the board. We're in the third round. We got guard. We got DT. We still need edge and cornerback in this spot. Hopefully, we can find a guy that can help this, this team out in the corner position. That is a big, big deal. Kalen King, I actually like him. Out of Penn State. This is a, a, a nice option for Detroit. You know what? I, that's what I'm going to go. I like Kalen King. I think we can develop him, and he probably could be out on defense starting. Say the Lions go ahead and get a Legereus Sneed in a trade. Get Kalen King in the third round. That would be a good matchup for the Detroit Lions. Lions secondary is much better. And this is the reason why. In the comments below, would you guys take a guard in the round two. Would you do that? Let me know, because, look, I know a lot of people would say, guard, no way. We need to go something else, but would you take a guard? Why for yes and for no? Back in round three again, I would like to find an edge, and there's one who I do like, and that's Jonah Ellis from Utah. This guy can help the Lions' defense out immediately. We have now addressed it. Edge, guard, cornerback, and it's pretty much BPA. It was, it was not off that much. And so right now, we're just going to go best player available at whatever position is available. We're not going to really go crazy here and, and you know, kind of get out of position. I still don't think we need much of a tight end, though. But I'm going to go with Drake Nugent, the center for Michigan. I've been done him in multiple mock drafts. I think it would be great for the Lions in the fifth round. Developmental center could be there, apparent to Frank Ragnow. Drake Nugent, round five. So far, I'm happy with this draft. A lot of uglies. Maybe you're not. Maybe you want to see more wide receivers and stuff. But I, I wanted to really get better here and and just do BPA and go with what the Lions need help in. I can see a situation they double up on corner because the corner is really bad. And you can see a situation where double up off edge because edge is pretty bad as well. Maybe they wanted to do a linebacker. But generally speaking, this is just going to be BPA. And that works well, honestly, for the Detroit Lions. So I'm just going to go ahead and take Decoran Patterson right here. That's the BPI on the board. This is what he's good at for the where he this is what he excels at right now. We're talking seventh round here. I'm actually looking for special teams. I'd like to get a kicker. Joshua Cardi's on the board. The Detroit Lions select him. Now we got our kicker. Here is this mock draft for you. Give me the grade in the comments below. Same thing as before. We're going to do with trades, though. I'm not going to initiate the trade. I'll let the teams initiate it to me, and I'll accept it or reject it depending on the trade. So let's get this thing going. I'm sure there's going to be a trade for pick 29 to trade out of that pick. Let's see 
what a team would offer. 32 and 64 for pick 29 and 92. That's a pretty good one. 163 and we get 36. Uh, pick 54. Uh, yeah, I'm going to reject that one. Um, 36 and 67. That's pretty good. I'm going to accept it. We're going to trade out of the first round. We'll go right here. We're going to reject this one because I do want to make a pick. So what are the options for the Detroit Lions? They're sitting here. This is an option. We get Devondre Sweat, and that's a good pick. Devondre Sweat. Darius Robinson just went there. Again, taking defensive tackle is a legit option. Or Shawnee Newton sitting right here. That is a legit option. He fell. Let's go ahead and draft him. In reality, he's not going to be here, but he's on the board. So Lions still got other picks coming up here. Um, trade out. I'm not going to do this trade. I'm fine with the trade that we got. Um, we're going to go Chris Braswell, edge from Alabama. Makes perfect sense. We just got DT. We got a, a DT. We just got an edge. And we're going to reject this trade. And we're going to reject this one as well. So, so far, a hell of a good draft. Kalen Carson still on the board. I'm taking him. This is a great draft right now for the Detroit Lions. This is amazing. We're going to reject this trade. Right now, we're having an amazing draft. If this worked out like that, that would be awesome. Awesome. This is a, this is part where you could go wide receiver, folks. You could go wide receiver. You got an extra one. That's an option. You can go depth at the offensive line. That could be for the Lions as well. Let me see here. Blake Corum. I know a lot of people like to get Blake Corum. I'm not going to do that. Spencer Rattler's been moving up lines. and I not going to go for him at all. We're going to go and get cornerback Chris Abrams. Drain out of Missouri. Beefing up that secondary. Getting that thing done. Let's get this thing on. All right. We're sitting at 92. We do need to get offensive line. Tackle's actually a legit option, too. But I would like to get this guard taken care of. And we're going to go with Brandon Coleman, TCU guard. Beef up the interior. We need help there. The Detroit Lions are looking pretty good for this draft. I'm going to keep going and get this thing. Oh, my God. While this thing goes, because we got another pick, you already know where I'm probably going to go with this pick here. We definitely need a kicker. And we're going to draft Cardi. I'm thinking every mock draft, I'm going to do kicker at this point um, with the final pick because I think that's an actual reality. Oh, we did. We had another pick. Totally forgot. So we're just going to go ahead and take a developmental guard. I don't even know who the guy is. Just development. That is the draft. I like this draft. Grade this one. A, B, C, D, or F. Let me know in the comments below. Let's do another simulation. Let's do three. I tried to trade up. It didn't allow me. So we're just going to do trade back scenarios. If I feel like there's a good enough trade, I might just reject it and see what options are available for the Detroit Lions. Seven and fast. So let's get this thing flowing. See what the Lions can get. Well, we just got lucky. I'm, we're rejecting this. Chop, Chop Robinson's on the board out of Penn State. Talked about him endlessly. We're taking Chop Robinson. The Detroit Lions now got a pass rush. You pair him up with Aiden Hutchinson, good luck. This would be a fall. This is called best player available, and you run and select the player. We just got better at the edge position. So far, a hell of a start to the draft. Now they want to give us another pick in around three mm, to move back 61. I'm going to reject that. I'm going to reject that. I just want to take the player there. So... Oh, wow, you got BB available. Golly, and I, I don't want to take the same people that I have been taking, but that's a value pick. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to just do it again. I'm sorry, guys. It's a boring pick, but it makes a ton of sense. Oh, we move a couple back, and we get... Let me see. Let me hide this right now. We'll see what's available because that's a pretty good trade, but I want to get better in the secondary... For sure. You know what? I'm gonna. I'm not going to take it. I'm going to just take DJ James out of cornerback out of Auburn. I think that's the, the best option for Detroit. Sometimes trading's not the best option. A player falls where you can get it. And he can, I think it'll take a little bit, but he'll, he could be a starter for the Lions. But this is predicated on the Lions making a big move in corner in free agency. So I don't, this doesn't have, 
if the Lions don't take a cornerback in the first two rounds, it's probably because they got one in free agency and they can take one in round three. That's what I'm trying to say right here. So just take him, developmental, pair him up with whoever they got in free agency or via trade. That would be a good move for the Lions. Good move for the Lions. So cornerback, guard, edge, love to get a DT. Don't want to force it, but that's options for Detroit right here. Jonah Ellis, still on the board, but I don't really want to double dip into that position. You could. I I suspect they're going to get an edge in free agency, so you wouldn't need to do that, but it's an option there. I'm going to take Mike, get a guy who we're familiar with, put him on this Lions defense. Let's have some fun. Let's have some fun. Let's continue on in this bad boy. We're going to go ahead and take uh, Jordan Ellis, a good one. Keith Randolph is a good one as well. Uh, yeah, yeah, tackle is an option. We're going to go ahead and just take Jordan Jefferson, DT, from LSU. We needed that pick. We need to get better on the interior. A solid option. You already know. We're going to go, oh, Cardi right here. Just take him in the seventh round. That was the sixth round. That was the sixth round. Oh, well, the Lions can just go ahead and get a, a guard right there, a developmental guard that I haven't even looked at. All right, so we got pretty good. Chop Robinson, Cooper BB, DJ James. We went another cornerback from Michigan, Mike. Jordan Jefferson, Joshua Cardi, the best kicker, and Kyle Hergel, who I have no idea about. I feel like that's a, that's a good draft. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Grade it, this draft.